Welcome back everybody to Simpsons Tractor Works. What have we got in store today? Well, it is a beautiful Saturday morning, January the 21st. It's starting to warm up a little bit. I don't even need a jacket. It was 32 degrees probably about 30 minutes ago, but the wind's not blowing, so it don't even feel that bad. And the sun, oh my God, the sun. First time in weeks. It's awesome. Went to tractor supply yesterday. I don't know what I bought, just some little stuff. And then uh started kind of getting an idea while I was there. Went back this morning. Found something that'll work. So let's try it out. Let's put a storage box on the back of the 2032R. Now, no welding, no fabricating. I don't know how to weld, so I had to find ideas that I can do. Let's take a look and see what we got. I don't know how much simpler you can get than this. I got one connecting bracket right here, uh, 10 inch. They ride a 12 inch. I would rather have had a 12 inch. It's already got holes drilled in there, so it's not like you're getting a piece of Where's, can y'all hear them critters? I don't know if it's squirrels barking or what. All kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, connecting bracket. It's got one, two, three, four, five. It's got six holes in it. I was like, well, that might be pretty useful. I got two L brackets. Three holes on, the, on each side of it. And then, what we got? Uh, size one quarter, 20 by three quarter. You don't see that? Comes with five, comes with six. Yeah, comes with six in there. I got all this at Tractor Supply. My box, I got it Walmart. It's just a plastic, like ammo case, hyper tough. 11 and a half inches wide, five and a half inches deep, seven and a quarter inches tall. And you bolt it in there. Now, one thing I don't like is the way this is lining up, and it might have been different if I'd have had a 12 inch uh, base. The feet on here don't, don't come off. They're molded in there. And it's kind of throwing it off you know not being able to lay absolutely flat but it's really not that big of a deal so what i did on the 2032r right here there's a metal bracket and it's got an, an open hole spot so i just uh screwed that on there that nut now it it might might need something different and if you don't mind you know having to drill through a piece of metal get get you a, a thicker base plate you know because this one it i mean that's to me that's that ain't bad but it is swiveling a little bit maybe i needed a Oh, maybe a locking nut back here. Maybe a maybe a washer. I don't. I don't know. That's that's the only drawback so far is that turns because it's only got you know one one point back here to to tie it down. But anyway, so I ain't got my screwdriver with me. Let's see what we got. Yeah, see it? Still moves. All right, that might need something to keep it from moving like it is. I don't know what. What do y'all put in there? 
Well, what would y'all put? Is it just a washer, maybe a lock nut to keep it from doing that? Maybe a washer, but I might have some somewhere. But anyway, so you got your base, you got your L brackets, and I wanted my box to sit out far enough to when I open it, the top will stay open. And it's a tight fit getting it in here, but so this is where I'm going to have it sitting. The box lid stays open, so it's not always falling when you're trying to get something out. This is not going to be for putting your logging chains or your tie down chains. This is for your pliers. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm putting stuff like this in there. Maybe an extra set of gloves. Just little stuff that ain't really fitting up in here. I mean, it fits, but it's just taking up room when it could be back here. So I put my box where I wanted it. I drilled some holes up through the bottom. Now, I didn't want to be putting my hand in here and you can, I mean, but I didn't want to be scraping my hand on a bolt sticking through the side right here. So I did put one back here. My, I won't be putting my hand back that far. Let's see where our holes are at. Right there. Oh, get them here. And this is where those little feet on the bottom of this box give a little gap down here, but there's still enough on that bolt to tighten down. It's lined up. Is it waterproof? Looks like it is. There's a rubber seal in there, right there. Just something simple. Quick. have to fabricate nothing that's the only that's the only issue right there i gotta figure something out about that something to get this tighter back here y'all let me know what i can do to keep this from swiveling because that is going to be kind of annoying figure something out but you can't get I don't think you can get a storage box no simpler than that uh, I might have to go get my short screw driver There's a storage box for your tractor. Anybody can do that. If I can do it, anybody can do it. That's the only issue right there. You know, and I, like I said, it ain't for putting heavy stuff in unless you get a stronger base plate down here. But I don't see this getting in the way when you raise up your three point. I got my Nipix pliers. I 
my adjustable for my arm over here to level the three point. Now they're not sitting in the box in the driver's station. Just something quick, easy. Put you a little storage box on the back of your 2032R. Okay, I don't know if you can say I did go back and put washers on there, one on the top, one on the bottom. Big improvement. So that'll help keep it from swiveling side to side. You know, we do only have one connection point, so sacrifices, you know, kind of have to be made for such an easy little thing to do. But I mean, if I really pushed on it, I could push it, but that's, that's pretty solid right there. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hit that like and subscribe. Come and see me. A DIY anybody can do. See y'all.